to be honest, is a common theme these days in the NBA. It seems like um, everybody's got a guy who can get 40 on a night. The way the rules are and the way the three-point shot uh, is, is featured. Uh, games are high scoring, so uh, you got to contend with a lot of great players. And uh, so getting getting ready for Dallas tonight, obviously we've, we've watched a, a lot of tape and we can see how much better they are and um, you know how well uh, Luca is playing. And so you just do do your best to you know, try to get the matchups and the schemes you want and go out and see what happens. Coach, what have you learned about this team through the injuries and the adverse that you've suffered this year that continues to give you confidence about what will happen when the main guys return later on? Well, I love uh, the attitude, the approach hasn't changed. Um, our guys are working hard every day. Uh, they have a great uh, energy about them. We got a good mix of, of youth and, and experience, and you know the experience that we're counting on. Uh, guys like Glenn Robinson, Alec Burks, uh, Willie Cauley Stein. Those guys have been fantastic. Um, they haven't missed uh, a day. You know, um, in terms of our, our our work and our preparation. And, they're kind of helping the, the the younger guys along, and the energy in the in the room hasn't waned, and that's that's hard to do when you've lost seven in a row. So, um, you know, that, that's what made last night satisfying that our players were rewarded for uh, their uh, their efforts and their consistency of their effort. So, hopefully, we can uh, keep it going a little bit. You got what you got. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to ask, can you speak to Luca's second season a little bit, how he's even taken it up another level, um, some talking about MVP caliber kind of season, would you agree to that? Well, uh, he was already a great player last year, borderline all-star, he's for sure an all-star this year. Uh, he's uh, taken a step um, that a lot of players take between their first and second year. To me, that's the biggest leap that comes because once you return after your rookie year, you know what the league's about. You start to know your opponents, uh, you feel it, and it allows for more room for your confidence uh, and your game to grow. And so he just looks like he knows he's the best player on the floor out there. And uh, it's, it's impressive for such a young guy. He's a great player. You guys obviously weren't in a position to draft him, but you scout players over there. Based on what y'all knew about him, is he exceeding what y'all thought about him faster, perhaps? Um, you know, we were, I think we were drafting 29th or something that year, so our uh, our scouts um, weren't locked in on him. We didn't think he'd fall to 29th, so uh, we didn't spend a whole lot of time talking about him, but I do remember our scouts, um, you know, saying how impressed they were with him. And, I think that the fact that he played so well in the European Championships, you know, before the draft, uh, if I have my math correctly, I think it was the European Championships, uh, but that he had such success. There have been some European uh, prospects who have looked great on paper, but maybe he didn't have the track record yet um, in Europe. Uh, but Luca was different because of his success, MVP of the European Championships, and you know how well he played. Um, before Dallas drafted him, so there was there was more of a track record, and I think um, probably made Dallas feel more comfortable um, when they when they took him. Steve, you what's your him? impression of the way Luca and Porzingis have been playing together? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a whole lot of them. This will be my first time tonight seeing them live, and uh, so given that we had a game last night, um, you know, I watched some tape today. Um, looks like they're a good fit, you know. Um, Luca is such a great passer, and Porzingis as a three-point shooter, you know, seven-foot uh, guy who can run and block shots. Uh, looks like a great fit, and Rick's doing a hell of a job as usual. And you know, they've got a, a nice foundation, and and uh, it's good to see. You know, this has always been a, a, gr a great organization, and the last few years have been have been tough, but um, they've been doing the right things, and they're they're building the foundation, and, and it's uh, they got a bright future. Steve, what did, what did you think of Carmelo's uh, debut in Portland last night, and is it good to see him back? Good to see him back. Uh, I didn't see any of it, given that we were playing, but uh, I like uh, Carmelo. I like the fact that he's in the league, and I hope he does well. Coach, considering that you guys have had so much success over the, the last few years, how are guys like Steph and Clay 
how are they doing through this process? Well, I think they're using this time to uh, get some rest uh, emotionally. You know, the five-year run of getting to the finals um, is exhausting. And um, so for, for both guys, I think, um, you know, to, to, to be injured is, is no fun, but um, at least it's a chance to recharge the batteries. And I think that's how we're looking at it. That's how Clay and staff are looking at it. And, um, you know, the plan is for them to come back full strength and uh, be re-energized and ready to go. And, and um, you know, that's what we're working towards. Draymond came through that fall last night fine. Yeah, he, he the elbow's fine. He was a little banged up. Um, today uh, so I just talked to the training staff so he's going to warm up and uh, we'll see how he, he does I would call him questionable right now but it wasn't the elbow it was uh, it was a different injury and I'm not even sure what it is to be honest with you he was just he was just banged up and played 35 minutes last night uh, he wants to be out there he knows how much our young guys need him and we only have nine healthy players with him so he's going to do everything he can to get out onto the floor, but uh, it'll be a game time call. Even if he plays tonight, are you going to try to find him some, some off days coming up, uh, either when you guys get back? Or well, the schedule finally will provide that. You know, we'll get two days off Saturday, Sunday, uh, or two days between games. Um, it's the first time since uh, opening night, uh, which was followed by two, two off days, that we will have had two straight days without a game. So the schedule has been crazy. Um, so hopefully uh, Draymond will be able to get some rest based on the schedule. And then, you know, as guys come back, uh, hopefully we get Looney back soon um, as we, we have more, more people available. Um, we'd like to sneak in a, a, a night of rest here and there for him. Steve, talk about the uh, past goal, this start this ball, averaging 17 points a game this rookie year. Well, he's powerful, uh, explosive, long arms. Uh, very, very confident player. You know, he can drive uh, right through the defense because of his strength, but he's got a nice touch too. Uh, probably a better shooter than people gave him credit for coming out of Villanova. And uh, he's catching on quickly. You know, he's learning the NBA game. He fouled out last night. Um, he's, he's learning, he's seeing everything right away, given that he's getting so many minutes. But he's a smart, smart player, smart kid. So he's he's picking th up on things quickly and learning. Literally every single game, he learns a new trick or a, you know, how a rule is interpreted, um, how he needs to handle himself in a certain uh, set or against it, guarding a set. Um, these are all you know details of the rookie season that everybody has to go through. But the good thing is when you do it, when they throw you into the fire like we have, uh, you can do it quicker. Is he a challenging guy to ref? Yeah, yeah. I think the guy, the stronger the player, the the more difficult it is to officiate him. Um, he got called for a, a, an offensive foul last night where he didn't really extend his arm. He just tried to drive by his guy, and uh, there wasn't an, any extension. But you know, the guy got knocked back because Eric's a really strong guy, and um, you see it with LeBron. Um, you used to see it with Shaq. You know, guys who are really, really strong. It's more difficult to determine, you know, what's a foul and what's not. Um, so that's uh, uh, another part of the learning process for him and for the officials. You got all that twice. Now, do you have to tell him at all to alter his game because of that, or do you just have to play through it? It's more. It's more detail. It's more um, getting used to the NBA game. You know, there's there's there were calls. There have been calls this year that would not be called in the college game. They wouldn't be called in FIBA, but they're called in the NBA. So that means you have to adapt. You know, when you're guarding a guy on the drive, you know, every coach you've ever had teaches you to do this. Um, if you do this in the NBA, it's going to be foul because guys are going to grab your arm and flop and flail. And we've, you know, this is the direction we've gone as a league. We're going to reward the offensive player. So that you have, that means you have to adjust. And that means when he's guarding here, he's got to show his hands. As soon as you show your hands, you're good. And that's, that's, those are the things you have to figure out uh, when you're in this league. And uh, he's, he's learning them and we're trying to teach him at, at, you know, all at once. Coach, you've been around the NBA for a long time. Does Luca remind you of any player in the NBA's past? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> it's pretty unique. Um, but, you know, just a, a tremendous passer. And 
He's got the step back three point shot. And um, the game is so different today than it was even 10 years ago. You didn't have guys shooting step back threes, so it's hard to find comparisons. Um, you know, if you had to look at somebody in the modern game, he's, 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 maybe he's got a little James Harden in him because he's, he's strong, he's got the step back three, and he's a great passer. Those are attributes that, that those two guys share. How much do you think Steph Curry has influenced Luka in that generation, just the willingness to pull up from like 30 feet? Oh, I think Steph has definitely influenced a whole generation of young players. Uh, you know, guys are shooting from much further out than ever before, and you can see when they're entering the league, you know, it's like no big deal for guys to shoot four feet beyond the line. Um, when I say no big deal, it doesn't mean it's going in. It's like no big deal. I'm going to shoot it from four feet beyond the line. So he's changed the perception of what of what a good shot is for a lot of people. Great, thank you. Thanks.